This review is sponsored by Laszlo's Leathercraft brand. The product is sent to us by the brand for free and we are not getting paid for an independent review of this item. It looks very rustic. This is the characteristics of this distressed finished vegetable tan leather. I'm actually familiar with the leather and the tannery and the maker of the leather. It's a very popular choice these days. Looks like a solid leather choice. Very nice little details in the hand stitching and the edge marks here. Definitely see that nice craftsmanship of a handmade wallet. It doesn't unravel too easily. It's called a lock stitch technique. the two colors of the same leather it's called Pueblo from uh, Badalese Carlo tannery in Tuscany Italy I actually been to the tannery met the owner a few years back this is a beautiful and very popular choice these days amongst the uh, leather artisan crowds we're gonna apply some acetone but we know there is no finish on it that acetone will resolve anyways we just want to see how much or what will come off it. As you see, the leather absorbs the acetone real quick, which means it's open. There is nothing closing, sealing the grain, not even dyes coming off that. Much. We're gonna run our ash test to see what kind of tanning is involved. As we have talked about it before, the vegetable tan leathers burn like wood. They even crackle and leave a charcoal that reminds you the wood burn residue. And as you can see, this leather seems like wood charcoal. There is no green residue, so that's why we're almost sure this is 100% um, vegetable tan leather. You need one and a half square foot of leather for a wallet of this sort. For leather cost, my estimate is about $12. Since it's hand stitched with a lot of other hand details on it, the labor cost with materials around 60 65 dollar in my opinion to make a wallet of this sort you are probably looking at 80 dollars in leather labor and materials cost this wallet is priced at 200 dollars on their website it's made to order hand stitched given my estimate of 80 dollars it's not a bad pricing it's not a cheap wallet but made to order hand stitch items usually cost around that. Great leather choice from a great tannery. They're very innovative in the Tuscany region. I know a lot of tanneries trying to replicate this article, but Pueblo is really unique. I really love the leather choice. I like the hand stitching nature of this craft. It's truly one of a kind. No wallet will look exactly like this because of the distressed nature of this article. I think it's definitely one of a kind piece if you are into hand stitch wallets, this might be something to look at. Mm -hmm.